yes guys yes people welcome back to the channel welcome back to another review Celtic 4, Chelsea 1, and everything is falling apart. Our season is over. Um, we're going to get relegated. We're going to get liquidated. Um, what else? Maresca out. Um, players out. Um, everybody out. Everybody out. Just rip the club up and start again. Rip the club up and start again. Second preseason. And yeah, it's all finished. It's all over because we lost to Celtic. Because we lost to a team that Man City lost to um, like three days ago. Three days ago. What the hell, mate? What the hell? I just... It's ridiculous. All the scaremongering and, like, all the raging and crying and bitterness from either potch peggers or people who've been anti-Clear Lake for a while, which, at the very least, I'd understand from their perspective. But even then, it's our second game. It's our second game in preseason. Like... I understand people being annoyed about the game. I understand people being frustrated about certain aspects of it. But if we're really coming to any conclusions on individuals, on the season, on the manager, you might need help. You might really need help because it's it's, it's a second game. Like, I, I don't think I can repeat that enough times. Why are we acting like the team's all settled? Why are we acting like the team's just clicked and instantly understood Maresca's style of play? Why is it we're acting like we've got everybody back and it's all first teamers and Caicedo was there and number eight was there and Palmer was there and all of these guys were there. Cucurella, Nicholas Jackson, all of these lot. Why are we acting like they were all there and we all just got cooked with our strongest 11? It wasn't that. It literally wasn't that. Celtic have their best 11. Celtic have had a longer preseason. Celtic season starts next week. They are sharper. They are fitter. This was going to, it was going to be a game like this where Celtic were going to be on the front foot. Now, I didn't expect 4-1. I'll be real. I didn't expect 4-1. But, I mean, the way that the game played out, like, it weren't great. Like, I really want to say that it wasn't a good game and I'm with everybody on that. But I'm not going to start screaming for players out or act like it's all doom and gloom and this season's going to be a mess. When the league campaign ain't even kicked off. It's not even kicked off, and we're already losing our heads. Let's just be objective and call the game for what the game was. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. But there's a lot of things to learn from that as well. And even Maresca brought that on the press conference. He said when the team was, pr uh, when the opposition was pressing us, what was it? Yeah, when we weren't pressuring, we needed to drop back, but and we were confusing things on and off the ball in game. These are all things that are going to be worked on. A, the good thing about a result like this is it opens up a lot of the errors and all of the misunderstandings that the players have, and we can work on that. There's still, what, three weeks left until the start of the season for us to work on this. So, judge when the season starts. As of now, man are doing up Maresca out. Man are saying, oh, we got a championship manager. We're getting relegated. Maresca's going to be out by Christmas and all of that. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. Because the same people were flip-flopping over Pochettino all throughout the season. And you want me to listen to them? People say, oh, we should have kept Pochettino. Okay, yeah, we conceded four goals against Celtic. You know what we need? The guy who conceded the most goals in the Premier League season. Yeah, that's the structure that we're lacking. Yeah. B -b 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 five game run, people. Even though we looked good in like two of them. Get in the bin. Get in the bin. A lot of the players as well are coming back from injury. So not only are they got no sharpness, they got no fitness. They haven't been playing in God knows how long. Like, come on, man. Context applies. For goodness sakes. It'd be easy to come on this channel and just rage and moan and scream about that game. I'm not going to do it. I need a lot better from Badia Shield because some of the passing at times was atrocious. And he just looked very slow at times. But again, preseason. Nonny, he needs to be more decisive with his 1v1s because that's the second game now. But again, preseason. Um, who else? Mudrick was just a bit non existent at times. But in terms of like the whole team, like we had Ugo Chuck who was an eight. <laughs> Man, want to act like I'm taking this game seriously. The Bright Sparks, Hiyu, and Kunku. It's about it. All right, nothing else. Nothing else. And like, 
I hope it's better for the next game. I really do, but I'm not losing my head over this because there's literally no reason to. There is no reason for us to be raging or, well, you can moan a little bit. I'll give you that. I'll give you that because we did lose and we can be objective about some of the reasons why we lost. We look very slow defensively. Um, The wing play. Like, we were just dying on the wings. Like, we were struggling. Offensively, we weren't creating anything. Defensively, it was like they could play at walking pace at times. The amount of space and time that they had on the wings. That needs to be worked on. Um, Sanchez, the distribution, please. I, I beg you, just get better, please. Like, you give us nothing to go off, man. Please, just improve on that. But, yeah, like, Bargiu and Nkunku, it was all a mess. It was all a mess. I mean, I think Vega ha had a pretty decent cameo too, but that's about it. But again, second game of preseason against a team that's a lot more fitter and a lot more stronger than you is going to happen. We are going to struggle in this game. I'm just surprised it was to this amount because I didn't expect it to be to this amount. But here we are. Here we are. So what more can we do? All I can try and hope for is that things are better in the next couple games and at the start of the season. Because if it's not good at the start of the season, then I hear all the complaints. We can't be saying, oh, just, it's okay if you concede four against City or four against Wolves. I'm not listening to that. Not listening to that. I understand people's concerns then. Not on the second game of preseason. I cannot emphasize that enough if I wanted to. It is our second pre-season game and i'm seeing the fan base lose their head i don't think it should be to that extent to that extent be angry about the game just leave it there just leave it there none of this whole we're gonna be mid-table in december bollocks like we weren't five points off fourth with the worst manager in chelsea history under the helm with the worst goals conceded in premier league history under our helm miss me with that miss me with that please but, yeah, we'll see what happens against Club America. Let's hope it's a better game. Can't be worse. <laughs> I mean, God forbid. God forbid. But for now, I'm chilling. I'm going to go outside. If you guys are that angry about the game, you probably should go and do that too. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll see you guys tomorrow. So pick up to everybody that's locked in. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Unless you're a potch crybaby. You know, yeah. We should have kept Barcher. We should have kept him. Oh, that five-game run was sensational. Bin. Get in the bin. But if not, leave your comments down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Super thanks. Gets you into the Super Chat Lottery. And peace. Peace.